gonna be awesome because we will, we have the awesome conductor for tonight. So I hope every, everyone can enjoy and can learn something new tonight together. All right, right now the time is seven. So I will start the introduction first about Bridgeson. So everyone and all of you can know each can know Bridgeson better. Let me share my screen now. All right, hi fellow Bridge Zoners. Welcome to Bridge Zone English Betterment Series. Bridge Zone have three values. The first is free and open platform. So this is the best place for you to practice your English without any worry about judgment or, or anything. You can practice as much as you can. And the second is volunteerism. All of us here, even though the committee or the conductor are volunteer. And of course, the last is we are English education. We learn English together in Bridgeton. All right. Bridgeton also have three classes in a week. First, Bridgeton Speaking Academy. It started on Tuesday at 7 p.m. focuses on public speaking, such as speech, debate, interview, and etc. And then the second is Bridge and Betterment Series, which is tonight, Wednesday starts at 7 p.m. We can learn four skills in English, such as listening, reading, writing, and speaking. And after that, we also have class in the weekend, so we make it as a bridge zone fun day. It happens in Saturday, starts at 11 a.m. with brings various topics for weekly discussions. And bridge zone also have several social media. So please stay connected with us. On Instagram, we have at bridge zone ID. On a clubhouse, we have busy English community. Facebook is on Bridgeon and also YouTube, Bridgeon English Community. And by the way, tonight we all of us here are streaming on YouTube. So any one of you wants watch in YouTube. So hello, welcome to our class tonight. I hope you enjoy. And we have also Bridgeon ID as our website, our website. And tonight we will have a uh, special announcement we will deliver by Muhammad Farhan. So Muhammad Farhan, the screen is yours. Yes, thank you, uh, Raki. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, we want to announce that uh, Bridgeon Festival competition are still, op are still open. So for you who haven't joined, you still have the opportunities until 21 of September. And competition detail are attached in our Instagram post. We have a lot of prize from uh, fresh money until various kind of uh, <coughs> souvenir. Okay, and I already sent the competition link in the chat column below and yeah, you can check and let's, Register yourself, join the competition, and uh, participate in Bridge Zone birthday celebration. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you so much, Farhan, for your information. I hope all of you guys, all of you Bridge Zoners, can join our Bridge Zone Festival. It's going to be awesome. We have so many prizes for you. So please take that. Please take the change and be part of our party. 
So let's move on to another announcement. All right. As a nonprofit organization, how to support our Bridgeson? We, we have a busy mart first, but due to the pandemic, busy mart is closed. And right now we focus it on busy merch. So in busy merch, you can buy mask, t-shirt, and lanyard, and also notes, if I don't mistaken. And you can check the all of them, the Bridgeson merchandise on Instagram at Bridgeson at Bridgeson Merch, or you can contact the WhatsApp on 0895-2050-1341. So please, if you, if you want to buy the busy merchandise, you can contact the Instagram or the WhatsApp. Bridgeson also supported by Perpustakaan Kemendikbud. This is the place that we we have we run we run some class on the Perpustakaan Kemendikbud before the pandemic came to the world. In this in this library, you can sign up for becoming member of the library to access impressive resources, 32k book collections, audio and video collections. You may sign sign up as the member there, and you can check on the Instagram at Perpustakaan Dikbo. And the next is Bridgeson also supported by Atmago app, a social network app in Indonesia that helps people to share neighborhood issues with it with its campaign, Warga Bantu Warga. All right. I also have another information about Atmago since I'm, I'm also the brand ambassador of Atmago. So I will let you know about Atma Go more. Apa itu Atma Go? Atma Go adalah sebuah media sosial berbasis masyarakat dengan semboyan warga bantu warga. Atma Go mengajak warga masyarakat untuk saling berbagi informasi di sekitarnya secara online. Informasi dapat berupa berita, lowongan kerja, pengaduan, dan pengumuman kegiatan warga yang semuanya bersifat lokal. Atmago mengajak kita untuk menjadi jurnalis warga yang mampu mengabarkan keadaan sekitar kita sendiri yang mungkin luput dari pemberitaan media besar. Ayo beratmago dan tunjukkan siapa dirimu. Alright, that's about Atmago. And Atmago also have another, another what is it to say? Another feature nowadays. So I will let you know about that. Indonesia memiliki lebih dari 3.000 komunitas yang berpengaruh di bidangnya. Karenanya, Atmago menghadirkan ruang komunitas Atmago. Ubah diskusi menjadi aksi. Atmago menawarkan berbagai fasilitas. Kamu dapat menampilkan aksi-aksi komunitas kamu, merekrut relawan baru, mendokumentasikan semua kegiatan komunitas kamu, memonitor dan menganalisis segala bentuk perkembangan dalam angka dan data. Jadi tunggu apa lagi? Mari bergabung bersama ruang komunitas Atmago. Atmago.com, warga bantu warga. All right, that's about Atmago. And we'll go back to Bridgeson announcement. Yes, we have after class traditions. As usual, after class, we have a taking pictures and don't forget to give us your feedback at this link, or maybe our team will, will send this link to the WhatsApp group. Yes, that's all about uh, Bridgeson and another thing that supported Bridgeson. So without any further ado, please welcome our Fabulous conductor for tonight. She is a TV producer 
and she is also really 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 into it in the video and content creator so please welcome Saskia Naza Saskia the screen is yours Hi everyone All right so it's all really right. nice to meet you all in here Can you guys please turn on your camera I would like to see your face for tonight Hi, Felicia Carmelia. She's also my co-workers in here. She, please turn on your camera. Why do you use journalist to Venus TV? Oh my God, she's so dedicated for her work. <laughs> All right, so I'd like to share my screen. Wait a minute. Our, our the screen is already seen, guys, for you. Hello. Sure. Yes, it yeah. is. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it's really nice to meet you all in here. Actually, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm actually excited to give about my knowledge to all of you because tonight uh, uh, topic is gonna be interesting for you if you are um, into the content creative production or anything else that related to each other. So first of all, I would like to say thank you so much Bridgezone for the opportunity uh, for taking me here as the conductor, especially Wednesday team. And then I also would like to thank you uh, to my coworkers that joined tonight. <laughs> and also, there's also maybe Katrisna that live streaming from uh, the YouTube channel. She's my boss. <laughs> He's my boss. As, uh, he would like to show, show me tonight. And of course, everyone in here who dedicated your time to learn English together. I hope you guys found something useful for uh, the material that I will give tonight. So yeah, let me introduce myself. Hello, I'm Siti Saskia Nazar, but you can call me Saskia. My Instagram is Saskia Nazar. You can follow me and I will follow you back. And if you want to uh, see my uh, project or accomplishment that I already achieved, you maybe you can add me on LinkedIn, Saskia Nazar. So yeah, I'm a TV producer and also broadcaster, creative content creator, journalist, uh, scriptwriter, and etc. that uh, it's all related to each other. So I'm working as a creative producer at Venus TV right now. And I was graduate from Venus University majoring broadcasting. And yeah, so that is all about me. <laughs> so before uh, I explaining the today, today's material, I would like to give a little bit sneak peek about uh, the video content that I create with my team. So this is, uh, wow, what oh, is Venus TV program? This program is about, videos program is about, that uh, shares about interesting facts about the world, current trends and phenomena. So something interesting uh, we serve in here, you can, uh, visit to the Venus TV YouTube channel. The topic is more likely like this. Kenapa di Eropa jarang ada gedung pencakar langit or the dangers of the drugs or anything else that may be useful for, for the viewers uh, that are talking about uh, the interesting uh, topic. And then uh, the viewers in here reach a good engagement, yeah. There's uh, to 20,000 of views and 45,000 of views. So yeah, yeah, it's kind of a good engagement <laughs> that maybe I can show to you. And next is Health on Top. Health on Top is actually uh, a program that talk about uh, the talk show 
that invites credible figures to talk about the healthiness. Yeah, I ever, when I'm becoming the producer for this program, so I don't, so right now I'm not hold this program is held by every, anyone else in my uh, office. So I ever invited uh, Adirai uh, that talking about his healthy lifestyle. So yeah, and the health on top, it's not only talking about our body uh, healthiness, but also our mental illness. So I ever invited um, Tinkan Rumondor as a psychologist and also uh, talk about the bullying and also I ever invited Sundari Inda as a psychologist to talk about toxic relationship. Maybe you, if you are wondering, you can visit the uh, Venus TV YouTube channel to see uh, the contents. So next is a uh, television feature program. So this is uh, my bachelor degree final project at Venus University. This project is expected to be used uh, by the viewers to get an in-depth insight about the controversy of Andel Andel as a commercial street performance art. So yeah, maybe when you are in the street, you are uh, feeling a little bit annoyed by the Andel Andel, but uh, maybe you want to see their point of view, why they are uh, using Andel Andel as our culture to reach, uh, to, to increase the money. There is also a controversy of the, uh, of our culture that our culture should not have to be used uh, to ngamen or Indonesian like that. And my role as a scriptwriter in videos, uh, videos content in here, I have to transform ideas into a script that apply research, interview, and also writing. So during the production, uh, I have uh, the supervisor. He, he is uh, Rahmat Edi Irawan as a vice president for services in NetTV. So the content in here is uh, directed to him. He is helped me a lot uh, to create this content. And then for this program, I got an A. Uh, it's really a uh, nice hard work to, yeah, to achieve. <laughs> so yeah, that, so this is just several uh, video content that I produce. Maybe if you wanna know more, you can visit my LinkedIn. And now we are moving on to our uh, main topics. That is turning idea into a script for your video content. So before we start, if anyone in here has a trouble or struggle to create a content for your video, maybe anyone in here want to share? Come on, guys. Maybe me. Uh, okay, Raki, what's your problem? My problem is because sometimes when I see my face on camera, I, I still feel nervous. But I actually, sometimes I have a lot of idea to do, yeah. to do, to do like, a, what should we do in the content and so on. But the, the, the main problem for me is when I see my face on the camera and it, the, the feel is so nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, everyone feel that way too. Even though Najwa Sihab, if you already know Najwa Sihab, she is also uh, she's our genius journalist, right? She's also nervous every anytime she talk to the camera. So yeah, it's really normal, Rocky, and you don't have to worry a lot. Uh, it's all about uh, the time flight, Jad Walter Wang, <laughs> and yeah. Uh, everyone has uh, their own trouble to talking in front of camera because talking is a really uh, art that very uh, hard to uh, to fulfill, right? Even I'm in, I'm in here, so also nervous talk in front of you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I just want I just wanted to uh, highlight that. 
when we creating a script, there is no more fixed script rule for video making, yeah? So it always depends on what kind of packaging videos that you want to search. Maybe uh, if you wanted to create a short movie, the script might be different with TV production. So it always uh, depends on the packaging of the video. And, and then next to, uh, this is about two kinds of videos that the script might be useful for you uh, for uh, that I will explain it later. So there is documentary or features. So documentary or features is a uh, digging deep news version, version. So when you watch a documentary or features video, there's information that make you a hug, uh, like, ah, so that's how it goes. So that's why uh, the documentary or feature is very deep and more, you know, more, um, more feature, like more information that maybe everyone never know. And after they are watching uh, that video, they, they are feeling like uh, getting a new knowledge that anyone cannot, uh, information that anyone uh, cannot get. For example, there's a, a difference between news on the, on the televisions and the features or documentary. If news on the televisions, it's, it's a hard news that, Topic might be a uh, strike to the point like Taliban fire into the air to break up Kabul's airport. It's only one point that Taliban fire into the Kabul's airport. But when the features or documentary videos, it's a digging deep news version that uh, the topic is more likely how Taliban is so powerful to taking over the Afghanistan for uh, yeah something like that. And then uh, we are moving on to explainer videos. Maybe you wanted to create a video that talk about uh, the healthiness or you wanna talk about uh, like gadget in on YouTube that review uh, every technology. Maybe you wanted to uh, make it uh, the explanation more clearly. So maybe you can use uh, the script that I will uh, explain it later. And uh, next. So yeah, when we are writing, the most important thing is an idea. So idea is becomes very essential for your uh, script writing. Everyone can write, but creative and original idea are rare things. Yeah. Is anyone in here know that our brain is thinking more than 6,000 of thoughts a day. Does anyone in here know? <laughs> yeah, so because our idea is really abstract, sometimes we get an idea when we are uh, taking a bath or when we are driving a car or anything else. So yeah, our idea or our thoughts is so, uh, so, so abstract and yeah, we can fold it anywhere, but uh, if you uh, write it down, your idea, idea, it might be useful someday when you are really uh, looking for it. So because idea is an abstract concept of thought that is visible, yeah, to make it visible, just write it down into a script. So then our idea becomes more structured. And next, So how to find an original idea? Is anyone in here want to answer before I uh, continue? Maybe anyone in here also have uh, a similar background to this topic? Maybe you so, can, can I say? Yes, sure. Yeah, maybe you can find an original idea by reading or searching our uh, was searching maybe by reading uh, 
we're reading a books, maybe journals, or maybe you can see our other YouTuber vlog, maybe. Yeah, it's true. It's totally true. Yeah. I will explain uh, that uh, your point later after this. So yeah, it, uh, thank you so much, Nana, for your answer. It's a great answer. My pleasure. Yeah. Um, before uh, the, that, those inspirational places. Uh, how to find an original idea itself first? You have to determine your audience. Who is gonna be your viewers for your video content? Because if you are uh, creating a short movie, for example. And then uh, your short movie is uh, about the culture. And then you are planning to feel by the millennials who are not interested into it. Your content might be fail, maybe because you are expected to be um, see by them, but it's not interact them. So you have to really, really determine your market. And next, moving on to determining your angle. So the most difficult task beginning writers is best uh, to finding the original idea with a clearly focused angle. Many can organize uh, words, sentences, uh, paragraphs, or anything else, but what is the most struggle with is coming up with a strong angle. So how do we find the angle? How do we find an audio itself? Oh yeah, I, I forget to mention that maybe if you are wondering uh, where am I learning this uh, writing progress, I am reading this book. It's a really good book to you to learn writing. And then next to, uh, inspirations, places, or a fresh idea. So yeah, as uh, Nana said before, inspirations comes from when we read a book, when we read articles or news, when we uh, watch uh, other public figures on YouTube, and when we watching a movies, when we saw our sur surroundings, even when we listening to the podcast. So yeah, our I, uh, this is the inspiration place, places to getting a fresh idea. And now moving on to, yeah, because we are trying to find an idea, the, we need something creative. We need that creativity. So this is the creativity that really good that I got from Ernest Prakasa from his seminar. So creativity is about what we are and what we consume. So what we are is our identity, our gain, our parenting method, our social, our tragedy. So this is about who really, who really, are who really we are sorry <laughs> and then uh, about what we consume our entertainment content our educational content our human interactions our observations if we don't consume enough we will lack reference variations but if we don't look into ourselves enough we will lack out authenticity so it's related to each other when we look ourselves and also we uh, consume a good content it will give you a phrase idea and then you combine with your knowledge so if you are uh, in daily activity you consume a lot of uh, atta halintar content or you know, the content that may be not useful to find an original. So the idea of your creativity is more similarly like that. So it's really important to consume your content based on your need to find an, a good idea. 
So you are, your idea quality determines about what you are read, listen to, watch, and also observe. All material in here are based on book, Ernest Prakasa, and then I compile with my knowledge as a broadcasting graduate. So here I am right now. And then after uh, trying to find an idea and we finally found a strong angle, move to script. The script is a great barometer to visualization your video making process. So when you are hard to find, uh, to make your idea more structured, write it down into a script. Just, um, if you already know the makeup, uh, makeup uh, transformations from, from people like this into like this, it's all scripted, even the simple videos like that. So the script is a really great barometer to visualization your video making project. So how do I write my script? I enacting this rule. So this is a 40, 40, 20 rule of research that I got from the book. So the 40% first is the background research to find an, a good topic angle and also the sources. And next is the 40% is doing interviews and research. Sorry. And for the last 20% is writing the story. So as you guys see in here, it's a rule for every journalist that wanted to create a documentary or features video. It's the 80% in here are spans on the research process. <laughs> so we only taking the time 20% to writing the story. So actually I really envy with everyone that have a profession is like straight to the point, like a doctor, like a policeman, like a um, nutritionist, because they are expected to that uh, profession. Meanwhile, journalists only have that writing, writing skills. Content that every journalist write is combined to uh, their point of view. Because journalists can write a story without uh, any sources. <laughs> so yeah. Because journalists do this because they have a capability to answer things that are not his or her expert. So they are doing the research and interviews to make the information trusted. <laughs> but if you are capable enough, uh, lucky to you, like if you are a doctor, you wanted to create a healthy lifestyle method, you can add your point of view as a doctor, right? So it's easy for you <laughs> to create a video content. And sometimes besides interviews, the journalists also use the primary sources from the internet. Like if there is, a, for example, Raditya Dika YouTube channel we, uh, that talk about the finan financial, we can cite uh, that her, his opinion into our content. Um, next, so this is how to write. This is how I write, actually. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I usually uh, write into my notes with uh, the big ideas, the strong angle, based on uh, the research, based on the book that I write, based on the article, articles that I read. And then uh, after that, if I need it for, um, the interview is, I make a question list. And then after 
doing an interview, I compile all the research and interview result. And then I create an outline. Outline in here refers to that I organize every main ideas that will be divided into several pieces. So yeah, so writing process explanation will be easier. And then after that, I start to write. It's only 20% of uh, the progress <laughs> because I already used the research and the interview. So this is a case. Maybe the idea is you want to you want to create a video content that talk about healthy lifestyle, and you your audience is the millennial of users nine to five full of junk food and cigarettes every single day, and maybe uh, they are careless with the lifestyle. An angle in here. You want to uh, highlight that invest is not only about the material. It's not about it's not about uh, buying a cars, buying a home, but also our body through healthy lifestyle for a better future. So you want to emphasize that healthy lifestyle is also infestation. So you choose your interviewees is a nutrition or uh, you can you can also use more than one interview with maybe you want to maybe you also wanted to interview the millennial officer or maybe a doctor or, or anything else next is this is a script uh, that, I, that i made several months ago so this is the importance of healthy lifestyle. For example, you wanted to create a hook opening voiceover and then uh, the sound might like this. If you enjoy these things regularly, maybe you are trapped in tricky happiness. And then after that, you want to comp compile the video teaser. For example, there's a voiceover script that says ice coffee milk every single day. And then the visual act, there are people drinking a coffee and the location is the office. And then for voiceover that talk about alcohol and there is a visual act, people drinking alcohol at the club night. And also cigarettes, people smoking at the home terrace and et cetera. After that video teaser compilation, you wanna add into the host speaking to opening uh, the, the video. So it might be like this. When I talk about tricky happiness, it refers to a temporary joy. Maybe you deserve to get that because it's your kind of guilty teaser after a hard work. The bad result after implementing those lifestyle regularly in did not arise after an hour. So you always want to keep do that multiple times instead, sooner or later, but obviously your future. So it's kind of like that. You can customize your speaking script or whatever you wanted to add. And after that, you wanted to add uh, the interview uh, answer based on the question why we have to implementing healthy lifestyle. Yeah, you can uh, adapt every structure of the script. Maybe you can add several table like your um, camera technique or talent expressions or anything else that would be needed. But if you already know about the type of shot and the camera movement and the angle, it will be more easier to realize, to realize your visualization script. I also want to highlight that the script might not be used 100%. A creators always need to adapt with the circumstances. For example, if you are planning to sitting outdoor, but suddenly it's rainy outside, you have to prepare another plan. Maybe you have to uh, shooting inside, 
and etc. You have to always adapt the, your shooting circumstances. And so, yep, uh, this is gonna be my last um, screen. So do an FGD activity. This is teamwork. Fill this table based on video content that you want to create. So you have to discuss with your friend in the FGD based on what's your idea, audience, and the angle and the interviews. So that's, that is all from me. Thank you so much, guys. I give it to you back, Raki. All right, what an awesome topic. So everyone in here can learn to be the producer with our Miss Producer, Saskia Nazar. So thank you so much, Saskia Nazar, for the explanation. And now we will move to another session. We will have the FGD session. But before that, I will call our Miss Zoom host. Hello, Miss Zoom host. Are you there? Hello, Raki. And hello, Saskia, our conductor. Thank you so much for giving us such an inspirational topic for today because I know that all of us want to make the best content and want to write the best script for our content. Thank you, Saskia. It means a lot. All right, so we will start our FTD session. But before that, I would love to introduce you to our most um, also awe-inspiring facilitators that we have. We can start from Dika. Hello, Dika. Hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. I'm sure that everyone who got Dika for the facilitator will be so excited because he loves to deliver great topic too. Thanks, Dika. Now we have another facilitator. Anytime. It's our most help, helpful facilitator. It's Honey. Hi, Honey. Hi. Oh, hi everyone. Hi, Putri. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Another facilitator will be from Wednesday team. It's our Icha. Hi, Icha. Hello, Icha. Okay, another facilitator is Dimas. Hi, Dimas. Yeah, well, hello, good. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you, Dimas. Okay, another great facilitator is Audia from Bridgestone, Surabaya. Hi, Audia. Hi, Kaputri. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. Okay, I will open all the rooms and you guys need to uh, do the FTD activity with the facilitators for 25 minutes. So I'll see you guys in 25 minutes. Enjoy Have the discussion, time, everyone. everyone. Enjoy the discussion, guys. So how do we usually do on the main room? <laughs> we usually have a Q&A session with yeah. your majesty conductor. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Please don't be like that. What I'm just awesome. rempehan peyek, you know. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, rempehan chikichuba. <laughs> What an awesome explanation. Well, yeah. Saskia explained that, that all of the things, I just felt like, all right, I just go back to the college and... 
yeah, and true. Uh, go back remember all of that all of that thing and actually I miss my college moment because of <laughs> Saskia Ooh. explanation so thank you so much you bring yeah me, yeah thank you so much the memories I even take notes I take wow <laughs> some notes I'm because it's I'm so amazed. important yeah, yeah because uh, I need to do I need to make video for my students right and I need yeah. that it's I great really need this material Actually, everyone yeah. in other profession need to know how to create a video content, right? It's mm -hmm. because when uh, the video is a very clear message that everyone want to see to uh, explain about something or the company or to help the tutorial, right? So yeah, the video making is everyone can do right now. Maybe someday in the future, there will be no uh, the journalist or broadcasting major because everyone has already know the skill. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but because anyway, anyway and there will just... be a lot of short courses on it on the internet, right? Yeah. Yes. You don't but... have to take a broadcasting major to learn how to create a video because the information, the learning process is can access on the internet. <laughs> yes, that's right. I couldn't agree more. So, Saskia, based on your experience, uh, what is the best moment for you to, to do a lot of things before, like uh, you said before? I mean, uh, what is the best moment interview? What is the what is the best moment for the topic and so on? Do you have any best moment for that? Best moment is when finally the videos is on the post-production. Post-production means in the editing process and it's uh, finished because <laughs> the results research process, the shooting process, it really take a lot of energy and also it's really tired, <laughs> especially for the shooting process. Uh, we don't have uh, strike times, we don't have the exact time to finish our shooting. It, all, it always depends on the situations. So I I always um, planning to finish my shooting at uh, 1 p.m. But suddenly it becomes 3 p.m. So it always depends on the situation because when we shooting suddenly we uh, will there is something that we don't prepare because we forget and we have to prepare it it first and then it taking a lot of time and then so yeah that's why it become molar <laughs> so if you are in media or uh, creative production or uh, P, uh, or ph the molar progress is things that you have to you know you have to adapt because it's the circumstance the circum the circumstances is always different every time we create a uh, content or the project yes. so yeah <laughs> that is all right i couldn't agree more i also ever in that place since i i don't work for uh what is it to say for production house but i ever in the media and yeah it's it's all about uh, it's all about fast, fast, and then uh, research deeper and so on. Yeah. So <laughs> when we see the 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 great the great content in uh, television or maybe in, on YouTube right now, we don't we we sometimes we don't know uh, the backstage situation like you said before, right? Yeah. 
you already know that um, backstage situation is make us the creators more have more skill. We have all of the skill is because of our backstage progress. So if you never have the that experience that uh, don't progress experience on the backstage, the result it might not be good because the good content or the good video or even a movie, it always have a really down progress <laughs> from the backstage. So everyone only know the result, but everyone do know uh, the progress itself to create a good video content. Yes. Or maybe uh, Saskia, do you have any topic that you never, you never uh, think you, eh, what is the topic like right now? So many issues and so on. So uh, if you have a change, what what is the topic that you want to discover? Maybe on your your content or maybe for your uh, what is it is it for your company? I'm interested to the culture. I I really wanted to traveling uh, and creating a video uh, every culture in the world. <laughs> So it's really fascinating when I watching Fox. If you uh, know that that is a American uh, media company, uh, their borders. I really a big fan of um, Johnny Harris. He is a good storyteller and also he's a good um, journalist. Do you know it? Raki, or maybe you never watch it. <laughs> maybe I will. I will find that video on YouTube. Or you have to watch it later. It's a really. He's a really good journalist. So he, her videos is about uh, the culture in every country. So he always visited another country to to make a coverage about the issues, about the phenomena, but because of him, I have an inspiration that someday maybe if I have financial freedom, I would like to travel around the world and creating a video content to talk about uh, others' country culture into my video content, because it's really uh, interesting to learn at uh, another culture, not because, Culture is not only about Indonesia. There is a lot of culture that maybe we can learn from other countries. <laughs> yes, I couldn't agree more. So uh, the, the 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 culture topics is uh, the the one that you interested to coverage. So yeah. by but uh, by doing that, you also can traveling. Around all around the world right yeah yeah it's true because who else do not like the traveling we love we all love uh, the traveling and because i love traveling a lot and i would like to get a free ticket of traveling maybe i can use that um you know chance to traveling around the world by creating a video content or become a writer and then i create uh, that video content <laughs> yes it's just for example <laughs> now <But> this <laughs> now this everyone wants to be the content creator right yeah i hope so but yeah let me uh, find out later because sometimes my planning is always different in every month in every year <laughs> so yeah <laughs> It always depends on my mood or my interest. Sometimes I would like to be uh, uh, in the advertisement in this industries, etc. Or I would like to be a teacher. I would like to be a lecturer. It's always different. But when I creating a video, it's always strike from uh, since uh, in the high school. So the video content is a really uh, 
things that maybe I cannot ever live. <laughs> so talking about talking about video content, it's also talking about viewers. So how 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 the way you do to grab the viewers like you said in the first in the first explanation about several project from your college so how do you get the that numbers for the viewers so i usually because i enter the venus tp when it's already quit I just usually uh, watch other program, watch the program before, and then I analyze who are the viewers and who is usually get a lot of viewers for the several program before. And then after I research uh, that viewers, I am I have an idea. Maybe the topic is that viewers like is more likely like this because the viewers on the previous uh, videos is talking about this. So yeah, that's why I uh, create a content like that, for example, like that. And for example, if I want to create, um, determine my audience, it also depends on the current trends. If the current trends is talk a lot about um, the Taliban, I create, uh, sorry, the, you know, the Palestine and the Israel issues uh, several, several months ago. So because that, ha that reached a good uh, engagement on YouTube. So usually the marketing said that uh, the market is really, interact to the that topic and then after i getting that idea from the marketing i create i create a video that related to that topic so yeah we we are um work together as a team there's a news division else and also there's a marketing divisions that run their own division and to know about the viewers, I usually interact with the marketing team to get a knowledge about what the behavior of our viewers and how uh, we how should we create another video topic and yeah, it's it's like that. <laughs> All right. So uh, video content is also about the comments. So how? The way you to how how you to how the way you to how the way you uh, react for uh, some comments like as we know our yeah. netizen is so <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> so yeah. but it's vocative sometimes yeah it's true um how uh, the Venus DP faced the comment but uh, by the way i'm not uh, really into it but usually our marketing team just uh let it go for several comments that may be not really important but sometimes the viewers also suggest some topic and then the marketing tell us uh, there's viewers that uh suggest, suggest a new idea and then, yeah, just accept that idea at first for the leather content. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's awesome. Maybe if I can share to you what is uh, my reference to do some content. Yeah. I will sure. say Vice Indonesia. Yeah, it's good. Indonesia. And also right now I also into it with the CXO, yeah. Because uh, because the content such as like uh, tanya ku terjawab sudah mm -hmm. <laughs> with the Raditya Dika and Dedi Kobusar. I think yeah, it's really some, fun. <laughs> <laughs> some questions is so silly, but <laughs> sometimes it will 
sometimes I also ask that questions like uh, yeah, it's why, better, right? Yes, why nasi padang get uh, <laughs> I know that portion when we get uh, when we want to eat at home and different portion and so on. And right now, I also interact with CXO because the content of perspective. I think I think CXO is what is it to say? Uh, more is uh giving the different the different the different content with another. Yeah. So we just have we just uh we just watch the fresh the fresh content. And maybe we never watch in another content, right? Yeah. Your suggestion is really good. Actually, I also watch uh, CXO for, uh, that Raditya Dika and Deddy Corbuzer. It's really fun <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, si TTS, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have that silly questions and then that Silly questions is become becomes that their idea to create a, a content, right? <laughs> so, yes. Like I said before. <laughs> so yeah, maybe sometimes someday we will uh, use that reference to create a content. So hopefully to create a. We still have uh, in Venus TV. We still uh, trying to create a new persona so we hopefully we can reach a new uh, market that really into us so hopefully we can create a good content that maybe make the viewers more engaged with us yes from six or like that from vice sometimes vice uh, yeah, bring, the, bring the unusual topic i guess but it's it's for the first it's more little bit like documentary like you said before yeah it's vice is uh the vice point of view is really great it's their contents of news is always different than any our mainstream idea sorry wait a second <laughs> oh my god that that is so noisy <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think Vice is the most uh, journalists have to do for right now because we need another perspective that different with our mainstream media, right? Yeah, Raki is also a media uh, that related to into this. So how about you uh, create a content? <laughs> how I create the content first? Uh... The content should I I should enjoy with that content first, and then uh, after that I just make it because I I enjoy to make it. I don't care about any likes, any yeah. comment, and so on. I just I just make the content with uh with, which what I want to make, and then uh, I lo- I love to do to do that. That's why my Instagram so many exploring content yeah, about, yeah. Uh, about that, about that, and so on. So I just I I really don't care about the about the likes, but um, I I believe that uh, when we when we can uh, show our site on the social media nowadays, so everyone will know about your personal branding. Because uh, content is related to the personal branding also. Yeah, it's true. But, you know, it's... Um, I, I'd like to like to do... I, I just wanted to create a content that I like, that I'm interested to. But if you are working in the company, you can do like that. So for Raditya Dika, for example, he is doing that way, uh, only create a content that he like because he know the audience. Yes. Yeah. Like, like uh, what is the viral one from Raditya Dika? The battle of food, the battle of 
drink. Yeah. <laughs> Any battle thing. So he already yeah. know uh, her his market. So he create that way. So yeah, it. But first, we create a content based from things that we like first because if we don't like enough, we will hard to produce the content because we are not master on it, right? Yes. But sometimes if you are a content creator, you have to, the first thing you have to do is it's not create a content that you like, but the viewers like. <laughs> so this is so cruel, but this is the reality that uh, creative industry must face because every company wants to create uh um you know the, the money right so we have to know the market so because we have to know the market we create a content that related to the product and what market one yeah <laughs> but sometimes we we also see the what is it to say the independence let's say yeah. the independent youtuber like Sole Solihun yeah. So many, yeah. so many content creators nowadays that we want, that we can watch it and bring the fresh content that maybe television or another thing that didn't cover about that. Yeah, and totally agree with you. Yeah, we have to uh, ask uh, maybe a creative. Uh, industry have to make an independent um, content that really represents the company or the media itself uh, not just about uh, to uh, give the food for the mm-hmm. viewers but also give an educational uh, information that make that might be uh, useful for the viewer so not on uh, uh, the journalist itself mm-hmm. role is not only to um, create a content but also give an awesome uh, information so the viewers also get the information that may be useful for them. Wow, yeah, completely agree with you entirely. And yeah, uh, we actually have so many viewers on YouTube right now who's watching you. Wow, <laughs> yeah, they're so excited to know about your topic, but they couldn't attend the Zoom meeting due to some difficulties maybe. But somebody is asking, um, how can we start from the scratch? If we want to start really from the beginning, how to start um, write our script? Let's say I'm a beginner. And yeah. what is your advice for the beginners out there who want to write their scripts for the first time? Mm, first, what what is your expert? Mm. And what, like Raki said before, what do you interested in? Okay. Because it's the main fun, fun, fundamental to create a content. Mm-hmm. So everyone like uh, makeup content creator or uh, or influencers, they have their own uh, characteristic that make they as a content creator. They have the uniqueness of themselves. Yeah. And then because they are expert to it or because they are really into uh, to the topic or to the professions that they like they yeah. can be like that right now yeah for example if you are um maybe let's say you are only an employee like an accounting or maybe you are a finance and you mm-hmm. want to create a uh, video content or it's not always related to the finance or accounting. Maybe you are have a hobby to watch a movie and then you create a content I about see. the movie reviewers. Just do whatever you do. You can create a content. If you, are, if you don't have a camera, you can create your content using this, your smartphone. Okay. And then 
uh, you can create a podcast maybe you can create a tiktok maybe tiktok is a really a good um, platform to explore newcomers in the content creator there's a lot of uh, content creator that finally viral on tiktok jadi so it's really tiktok is really have a newcomer so maybe you can start from the from there and then yeah maybe you can also learn from the community community like I think there's a lot of uh, community that will encourage us to become a content creator. Maybe you can learn from that, or you can become you can you can become a volunteer for the media company, or maybe you can be. Uh, my friend is the documenter for his uh, church, Gereja. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, uh, he, he has become the documenter person to uh, to do, to shooting the church activity. So you can start from them. You can start from your uh, if you are Muslim. If you, you can start from the um, Majelis Taklim activity, you can record yes. that. Oh, Majelis Taklim, <laughs> yeah. <The> religious. <laughs> Yeah, you can yeah, also, yeah, yeah. you can start from everywhere. Mm-hmm. So there is no limitations to say that uh, ah, Saskia is already uh, study at Vino, so uh, no wonder that she, she can doing that way. But it's not because like that. It's because uh, our willing to create the content. I see. Yeah. Thank you so much, Saskia, Thank for your you answer. Thank you so much, Saskia. Thank you so much, Sas. What an oh, amazing yes. discussion. So, guys, how's the discussion? Is it it's great? Really, it's really good. So, having other uh, point of view about the idea that we are going to take. All right. Thank you so much, Dehan, for your for your commentary for the FGD. I hope all of you more time enjoy the FGD session, and maybe someday you will make it as as the real one, not only the script, not only the plan, but also the content on YouTube. I don't think I can because I. I, I, I Yeah, it's not. It's not. Uh, I hate it. It's. I'm not hate it, but I think uh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not destined to be uh, in that area. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think I can. But 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 the 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 the, the content of uh, the content uh, that uh, that that. Uh, Who is the conductor Saskia uh, tells me tell telling before? It's really, really uh, good, and I got new uh, knowledge about uh, entertainment area, especially making a content, and it's really, really good uh, knowledge for me. Uh, yeah, I hope it can help me uh, on my maybe on my work. So maybe some maybe I can. Uh, make uh, something really fresh and new at my office uh, and using that kind of point of view that uh, Zaskia using when she's working in entertainment uh, uh, industry. All right. Thank you so much, Dehan, for your, for your sharing. So right now I will call the facilitators and then All of you guys for tonight have uh, you have you have you have time to explain what 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 you did in the FGD. So for the first, maybe I will call uh, Fasil Dika to to introduce your spokesperson. Mm, all right. Uh, I was with Dehan and Denny, and yeah, Dehan has. Uh, uh, rep- uh, presented our discussion right uh, recently. 
But now I'm representing this. Okay, now yeah, okay, it's Dennis' turn. Okay, so now go just, ahead. Okay, I will my first time what I represent re representing all for all of you. So this oh, is what I call what what we what I tell I told I told you for about the call about COVID nine COVID nineteen. There's a uh, those are the uh, are the victims uh, victims and a many uh, too many patients too many patients are uh, are uh, stick stick in the hospitals and stay at homes stay at homes and wear and wearing masks if it's if it's not not using in unable to use the mask not using mask they're gonna be fine fine they're gonna be fine by police by police will arrest arresting you uh, we have followed the instruction to help uh, follow the protocol the protocol and you wear the mask when you when you go and go somewhere somewhere else so somewhere else you can uh, you can afford afford to wear the the long sleeves and wear uh, wear wearing the long jeans and long jeans and you have uh, you have to um, be careful when you uh, when you uh, you have to walk well uh, well walk away and you have to drive away you drive away from the city and the, and the out of town out of out of we go abroad before before we have well we trying we have to vaccinations with a register registration do many there are too many vaccine vaccination vaccinate vaccine we have what you know, what we what ev in Indonesian has for for variant vaccines whatever whatever oh, whatever whatever but now in in you know, from this application where we go where we go into mall mall the applicants for we call Paduli Lindumi care to protect in English if I if I have to try and do I've tried to do so for my for my opinions I care there will there will be the stay in guard stay in, us look at look after after the protocol protocol do not afford to do not violate the the health protocol. That is the is the import the important origin for the for the government government say. And you have to stay at home if you sick. You sick, and you have to take to stay healthy and be more uh, uh, be more care more careful if you if you walk if you walk walk from there. That is the the important important things that you that you make for your for for the health protocol. I think that's all. I have to thank you for discussions and my representing to you. All right, thank you so much, Denis. Thank you so much, Denis, for your explanation. So we will gonna move to another another facilitators i will call our facilitators far away from surabaya so please welcome facilitator audia okay thank you kak so i'm from group uh, group five we have ka ipul we have kanana and we also have kabia so kanana will be our representative kanana are you there <laughs> Thank you for, yeah, thank for giving you. me such a great, great time like now. Okay, so I'm trying to talk about uh, is the case about the equations. The idea is about the equations. Because as you know, that's the pandemics, because today's the pandemics school are closed, okay? Public school is closed, okay? Any school is closed. So I would like to discuss about this one. And then, so, this is the idea. Now we jump into the audience. The audience, of course, many people were relating to schools, right? 
not only teachers and students, but also is uh, parents and then government rights attract, attract, I mean, appoint to the ministry, uh, education ministry, I mean. And then it's about the angle. It's about the angle I would like to talk about blended learning. Blended learning is some kind of a new thing for us actually because of the pandemic. So, and we try to adapt the situations. And now the government, based on the government policy that would like to open the school, but not, uh, but of course, the school will be okay, will be open, uh, not all, not all, but with some considerations, okay? There's some considerations, uh, we still have to uh, use hard protocol, of course. And then what the interview is, okay, we should ask, okay, is uh, some, okay, people who are in charge in education, like teachers, the principal, okay, and then parents, and then the uh, education officer for our course, and then uh, the minister of education, okay, and then I think that's it. And I wanted to know, okay, I would like to talk about the blended learning. Blended learning is some kind of for us, maybe. I would like to give you info, some information about the blended learning. Blended learning is, is totally different with online learning. If we talk about the online learning is 100%, okay? 100% uh, we study online. There is no face-to-face -face meeting. You can study anywhere, everywhere, anytime. Of course, just your teacher will give you some kind of assignments or just ask you to ask questions. But blended learning is, we, uh, we divide into two. Okay, 50% face-to-face meeting and 50% is face-to-face uh, uh, -face meeting. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I mean, blended learning is 50% uh, uh, study online, 50% is face-to-face uh, -face meeting. Okay, so, but in face-to-face -face meeting, there are some considerations. The first is still focus on the heart protocol. The student must be got vaccines, vaccine, I mean, and then uh, they have the agreement from the parents and then uh, they should mask. And if you ask me maybe, how about the hours? How about the hours, sorry, how about the hours? Do they study from morning to the afternoon as usual? No. It's totally different. It's maybe the student only study one and a half hour, two, two hours, not more. And then if in the class there are 50 students, not all the students can go to school. Maybe from 50%, maybe only 20 per, uh, only 30 students from each class can attend in the blended learning. I think that's a, a very simple explanations about uh, uh, about education, especially we are talking about blended learning. All right, thank you so much, uh, Kanana and then Audia teams. So we will go to another team. I will go to uh, Fasil Hani. Wow, hello guys, I'm sorry, okay, um, wait. Mm, okay. Hi, guys. Thank you, everyone. And especially thank you for uh, our conductor because this topic is very interesting. <laughs> we talk a lot of in our groups. Okay. In our group, we have a Dennis. Ka, wait. Ka, yeah. Ka Gayu and then Arif. Okay, and then Denny, we will represent that with our discussion. Okay, Denis, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, all right, good evening, guys. Uh, it is my honor to be representative of the team too. Um, yeah, so my name is Denis. I, I am from Papua. And yeah, I'm currently working here. 
So I'm going to be talking about the ideas and the angles, audience, and things like that. So the first idea is about mental health. So we've been talking about this because um, I brought up this conversation and then my friends, um, Banani, uh, Bahani, and uh, Ryan talk about mental health. And I think it's quite important, especially during pandemic. Um, so why is mental health? Um, as you know that we're during, uh, in the pandemic, there we are a lot of, a lot of um, restrictions and we're not able to go out and things like that. And of course, it does really affect our mental health a little bit. But not only that, uh, we are focusing on the bullying. Um, the second one is audience. So we focus on parents and teachers. Uh, why parents and teachers? Because we have talked that parents are like the core, uh, the core and resource of um, students or even children's growth, and um, and also teachers. And also teachers are very essential to know their students' um, you know mental mentality. Um, yeah. So that's the audiences and the. Um, so the angle here is, yes, we focus on bullying uh, and mental health. So mental health has so many varieties, especially, um, you know, our uh, people. As we don't really know that if we actually have mental health. If I'm not mistaken, I read an article about 200 uh, varieties of mental health and um, also everyone has mental health unconsciously. And uh, after that, because it's about parents and teachers, we focus on bullying because bullying is everywhere and uh, it does really affect um, mental health. And because mental health related to the, the physical health. And I think we think that was, that was uh, important. And the last one interview is we will be in uh, inviting the uh, psychologists and the, the one who experience a bullying or the ones who um, have mental health. Yeah, so I think I think that's that's why we have to talk about. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dennis, for explaining the discussion, the, the FGD session, the FGD session topics. So we will go to we will go to move to another facilitators. Maybe I will call facilitators Dimas. Hello, Dimas, are you there? Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Raki. Okay, so there is only two person in my group. There is Ka Yastrin and Ka Tegar. Uh, because uh, Ka Yastrin, actually, uh, a lot of idea come from her, and she also helped us to combine it all together, and make it as a actual concept, decent concept. So we really agree, me and Ka Tegar, it would be nicer for just let her become our uh, the one who delivered it to you guys. So yeah, hi Yasrin. Hello there. You ready? <laughs> Hello. Uh... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let's deliver our discussion in group. Okay. Let me try. Yeah. So uh, that. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, our our topic is about healthy food. We're not trying to uh, copy what conductor just gave, but as Kak Dimas said before that, we have no idea actually. <laughs> so uh, it's just because I uh, I just start my own business about healthy food. So that's just all of my, uh, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, yeah, the idea is healthy food. Actually, uh, the product is granola. And then uh, uh, the audience, wait, the audience is people who are aware 
uh, about a healthy lifestyle. Uh, I mean, uh, granola is uh, what should I say? Uh, cocok for uh, pregnant or children or yeah, for uh, for all people. Uh, that's uh, our audience. And then the angle is uh, we, you know, uh, it's future investment. Uh, yeah, uh, as we know, uh, currently we uh, maybe we uh, we we buy so many so many snake to eat so uh we we not we not uh we not really care about about what we eat we 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 order so many food from gojek maybe or a grab so uh yeah we we just we just have to um uh, what should i say we just have to uh aware about our body to uh, eat healthy food and their interviewee is uh, actually a doctor and interviewers is uh, the the healthy lifestyle that's it from me i'm nervous actually guys it's okay it's okay you did great Actually, yes, Rin. So thank you so much for the explanation from the FGD discussions. All right, I will call the last group actually, but I didn't see the facilitators. Maybe any one of you from from uh, room three. I mean the Ichas group. Maybe Ka Felistia or Kaliana N. Who will be the who will be the representative? Uh, okay, let me start first. And then Felicia can add on lah, eh, if got anything to add on. <laughs> okay, basically okay. Uh, our 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 discussion are really good. Uh, it's like an, an exam, okay, because only two of us are discussing. <laughs> okay, our idea is on support on survivors, S O S. Okay, uh, audience is everyone. So, the angle here uh, is about uh, violence. Means that domestic violence, bully, abuse, physical abuse, mentally abuse, digital abuse. As you know that um, these things actually increasing starting because of the pandemic, right? And um, as bit as much it do tackle, uh, it do trigger everyone actually. So um, here by SOS actually our uh, main point is to make the survivors um, have confidence to speak up. Means that share share what they have experienced and also give an. Uh, overview to others so that they know what they what should they do what what they can do and also our interviewees will be the expert yeah maybe like doctors on how to manage um if um doctors and psychologists maybe on how to manage if you're having this kind of uh, mental and physical uh, abuse and also we can call for the police yeah how you want to lodge a report um is it okay to lodge the report because we know that um if we are the 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 what the the victim of the abuse we tend to afraid to speak out right okay and also our final interviewees will be the survivors because here they going to share their experience and so on for increasing awareness to people on this topic yeah that's all from us uh felicia if you have anything to add on this the screen is yours Hello, Felicia. Do you want to add more? Um, I think that's all from Kak Liana. Uh, the basic, the, um, the issue behind this idea is 
is actually sexual abuse, which has recently become a trending topic in Indonesia. Um, so in this, uh, with this idea, I just want to, we just want to uh, encourage the survivors to speak up and encourage uh, each other to, uh, to move, to move on uh, on their life and become um, like a role model to, to another survivors, I think. Well, that's all. All right, so thank you so much, Kaliana and Kavelistia. What an amazing discussion because I just heard from all of you guys a lot of ideas. Uh, I hope and also we hope as a Wednesday team some days, someday the ideas can become the true content for all of you guys. We don't know. So uh, before we end the session, I will call the conductor to give the closing remark. Actually, I have uh, no closing remarks, but yeah, for <laughs> everyone in here trying to figure it out about the uh, video content that maybe you already discussed, it's great. It's really great uh, idea, um, but maybe several ideas have to strike to the market, strike to the market. Like you can choose anyone if you wanted to uh create a video so every market is different so you have to be specific on your uh market and also for the angle you have to be more specific again because if we are uh, creating a specific content the the market who watch feel uh that is related to their life so yeah but it's still like great i i also still learn uh, about this uh, content creator and yeah I give a uh, standing applause for everyone in here that dedicating your time and also your idea to come tonight yeah it's such a pleasure opportunity to me so I hope uh, the material that I shared today is useful for all of you because the video making is not uh, just uh, using by the broadcaster, but also can be used for everyone that who wanna um, try to create the content. So yeah, that is all for me. Thank you so much, Wednesday team, for this opportunity. <laughs> Thank you so much, our awesome conductor Saskia for tonight. All right, uh, this is the end of the session. Uh, let's prepare for the photo session. So all of you guys who can, who didn't, who didn't open your camera, please open your camera, show your handsome, show your beautiful face, and then the photos will be forever in our Instagram and also on our YouTube. So I will call the Zoom host. Hello, Ms. Zoom host. Are you ready for? Hello, Mr. Yeah. MC. All right. Uh, I already assigned the photo session to our teammate, Dimas. Hello, Dimas. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you can start. I will help to capture uh, capture the to this. Uh, okay. Uh, so, guys, please uh, open your camera. It's time for you to show your face. And be narcissistic a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. So. I think I will just count uh, to three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Once again, one, two, three. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so Thank you. much, Britzo. Thank you, Saskia. Thank you, Britzo. Thank you so Thank much, you. Saskia. Saskia. Thank, you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Everyone. you. For all of Bridzoners. Thank you, Bridzoners. Okay. I will have the glad back to for the order. Bye bye. Thank you, police, for coming. <laughs> Thank you for Thank you coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you, Yasri. Bye.
Thank you, Dehan. Thank, Thank you, Fernandez. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dehan. Thank you for coming. See you. See you soon. Okay. All right. It's a wrap. Last oh. year's class was a huge success. Wow. Success. The life, the life, the life is still in there, guys. The, the YouTube life. Wow, it was a huge success. Congratulations, Saskia. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh Congrats, God. Saskia. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe. You did great. Yeah, I don't know. you did Saskia. great. We are still live on YouTube. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. How to stop it? Bye bye YouTube. Bye bye YouTube. <laughs> bye bye YouTube. Have say good. Have say goodbye, right? To YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. And how do you feel, Saskia, after accomplishing? And the YouTube is still on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. You should kill it. Yeah. Maybe no, meet me as the, as the Zoom host. Uh huh. Uh, the, the YouTube is still on. Oh, yes. sorry. Okay, I will turn it off. Hello? <laughs> Why is it so quiet? <laughs> yeah, the YouTube is still on. Yeah, oh, okay. Still on. Yeah, it's right. dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> I'm afraid to talk something because it's still yeah. on YouTube. Wait. All right. Yeah. What happens? Actually, is there something wrong? Or... or probably it's because of the connection? Wait, wait. Okay.